Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has rolled out the latest dev channel and beta channel insider preview builds for the Windows insiders with the update KB5065793. So once again, just a very quick overview as to what's happening in these early preview builds. Now, just a quick reminder, the dev channel is where Microsoft is testing 25H2 features. And the beta channel is where Microsoft is testing Windows 11 24H2 features. And both channels are basically mirror images of each other because 25H2 is based on 24H2, as you may well know by now. Now, the first new feature for the dev and beta channels for this week was actually a hidden feature I posted on a couple of days ago and has now made its way into official testing where Microsoft says it's now introducing the ability to do built-in network speed tests accessible from the taskbar where you can now launch it via the Wi-Fi and cellular quick settings pages or by right-clicking the network icon in the system tray. The tool opens in your default browser and supports testing Ethernet, Wi-Fi and cellular connections. This feature helps assess network performance and supports troubleshooting according to Microsoft. So that hidden feature is now being officially tested. And then next up, Microsoft says it's adding a new Microsoft 365 Copilot page to the Get Started experience for managed commercial devices that are managed with an active Microsoft 365 subscription. Microsoft says this is designed to help you discover and engage with Microsoft 365 Copilot more easily providing quick access to key features and helpful guidance directly within the Get Started flow, says Microsoft. And then next up, we have another feature for Copilot Plus PCs, where Microsoft's main focus seems to be these days. For insiders with Copilot Plus PCs, Microsoft says it's updating the File Explorer search box. Placeholder, text, to raise awareness of the improved Windows search experience introduced earlier this year. And then just to mention two changes and improvements for the purpose of this video, Microsoft says that it's temporarily turned off Emoji 16 and will bring it back in a future release. And I posted a video today on the latest optional update for Windows 11 24H2 that's rolled out to the stable version. The video will be linked if you'd like more info. Quite a lot going on with that update. And Emoji 16 should have rolled out but didn't roll out. So it seems that Microsoft has pulled this now. And it's obviously going to give that a bit more work before it's released to the general public, which I'm always in favor of. Rather get the bugs ironed out when it's in preview before it makes its way to stable. And then last up for this video, I'm just going to mention for voice access, Microsoft is introducing a new wait time before acting setting in voice access, allowing you to configure the delay before a voice command is executed. And then over and above those new features, changes and improvements, we get fixes rolling out and of course we are in preview so we get a good couple of known issues as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.